Hello. Welcome to Mystery Reveal. To I explain movie. Luca. Let's start. Luca Pegoro is a pre-high schooler ocean beast living off the shore of the Italian city of Porto Rosso who goes through his days grouping a school of fish. His folks, Danielle and Lorenzo, confine him from going to the surface out of dread, however, doing likewise after quite a while after the day winds up making Lucan exhausted. At some point, while having a tangled outlook on whether or not to go to the surface, Luca meets another youthful ocean beast named Alberto Scorfano. Alberto has been ashore commonly and has a refuge on an island close to Porto Rosso where he asserts he resides with his dad. He asks Luca to follow him there. Hesitantly, Luca follows, and they change into people on the dry land and advance toward <laughs> Alberto's <laughs> safe <laughs> house. Luca observes a banner in the refuge showing a Vespa, an Italian body, and they before long choose to make their own without any preparation. Meanwhile, Luca attempts to stay quiet about his presently twofold life from his folks with just his grandma being enlightened and staying quiet about it. Lorenzo and Daniela before long find what Luca has been doing and conclude that to protect Luca, he ought to be sent further into the sea to live with Lorenzo's sibling Ugo. Upset, Luca flees to the city of Porto Rosso with Alberto. There, they learn of the nearby domineering jerk and rehash hero of the Porto Rosso Cup race, Ercole Visconti. Similarly, as Ercole is going to dunk Luca's head into a wellspring that would uncover his way of life as an ocean beast, he is saved by a youngster named Giulia Marcovaldo. Giulia takes Luca and Alberto to her home where she resides for the summers with her one gay father Massimo, a specialist fish tracker trying to kill an ocean beast. In the meantime, Danielle and Lorenzo can find Luca anyplace, so they choose to go up to the surface to find him. They start sprinkling water on all of the young men there trying to track down Luca. Luca, Alberto, and Giulia choose to enter the Porto Rosso Cup triathlon together to win cash to purchase a Vespa. The marathon comprises three races, swimming laps, eating pasta, and riding a bicycle through the town. Every youngster chooses to take up a singular assignment. Julia takes up swimming, Alberto takes up eating pasta, and Luca takes up riding a bicycle in the wake of figuring out how. After some time, Ercole begins to become dubious of the young men, and Luca and Julia begin to turn out to be nearer to one another. Whenever Julia discusses going to class in one more piece of Italy where she spends the remainder of the year, Luca fosters an interest in it. Alberto becomes desirous of Luca and Julia's developing fellowship. After a contention, Alberto uncovers his way of life as an ocean beast to Julia. Luca doesn't do likewise and on second thought acts terrified of Alberto, passing on Alberto to withdraw to his hideaway feeling sold out. Back at Julia's home. Julia spills water on Luca, uncovering him like an ocean beast. Julia sends him away, stressing that somebody could hurt Luca assuming his actual personality was found. Luca observes Alberto in his hideaway scowling. After Luca questions Albert, about counting the blemishes on the divider, Alberto uncovers that he leaving the imprints counting the days since his dad let him there be. Alberto is as yet frantic at Luca and no longer needs to be a piece of the marathon, however, Luca chooses to enter with Julia at any rate. Upon the arrival of the marathon, Luca and Julia show up without Alberto. In the wake of finishing the initial two difficulties effectively, they enter the cycling stage. It starts to rain and Luca attempts to try not to be turned around into an ocean beast by halting his bicycle under an overhang. Alberto shows up at the scene with an umbrella to help Luca, however, he gets wet and is changed once again into an ocean beast. Ercole tosses a net, catching him. Taking a chance with his mystery being uncovered, Luca runs into the downpour to save his companion. He liberates Alberto yet additionally gets changed. Julia attempts to prevent Ercole from harming them however she winds up getting injured herself. Luca and Alberto convey her back to town. At the point when they arrive, Ercole attempts to kill Luca with a lance, yet Luca takes care of the domineering jerk. Everybody in the town of Porto Rosso sees that the ocean beasts are not awful, particularly Massimo, who on account of the young men for aiding his girl. Luca is brought together with his folks and they celebrate at Julia's home. Afterward, Alberto uncovers that he sold the Vespa they purchased with the prize. Cash to purchase a train ticket for Luca to go to class with Julia. Luca's family, Massimo, and Alberto, who has chosen to remain in Porto Rosso, all see Luca and Julia off at the train station. 
Once more Lucas says farewell to them and turns into an ocean beast as the train voyages away into the downpour. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more video. Thank you.